Hello you guys, it's Katie and welcome back to another video. Today's video I have a market breakdown to share with you guys. Now I already filmed the first portion of today's video where I showed you everything I'm bringing to the market like I typically do. But I'm refilming the intro because I wanted to tell you that I unfortunately did not vlog this market. I was going to and then I ended up being pretty sick that weekend. I probably shouldn't have even gone to the market. I didn't realize how sick I was. So I didn't feel like vlogging the event, so I did not bring my camera at all. But I do have this breakdown still to share with you for how the event went. So this event was on November 11th and it was my wildlife event. If you guys have seen me talk about it on Instagram and like on my live streams and stuff, I've been mentioning that I was excited for it. And it was a wildlife event where they had live animals and stuff that I was a vendor at. So anyways, just wanted to tell you guys that and I'm going to go ahead and show you all the footage that I have from before the market and then we'll get on to the actual breakdown portion, sharing how much I sold and all of that. So as always, a few disclaimers for these market videos. First off, I will have a Google Doc linked below that shows all the crochet patterns for every single item I'm sharing with you here in case you want to make them yourself. And I will be sharing my prices plus what sells, what doesn't sell, all of that. So because I'm sharing prices, I do like to give a little disclaimer that just because I'm telling you my prices does not mean I'm asking for your opinion. I'm always open to questions, of course, but I'm not gonna tolerate any sort of negative comments for myself and for everybody reading the comments as well. So with that though, we're just gonna get started with my items that I am bringing to this market. Currently it is two days before the market and I'm sitting down to film this now because I won't be home tomorrow, which tomorrow is the day before the market. So I wanted to film this now, of course, that I can still have this to share with you guys. So I have a lot to show you. I don't have as much in my stock as I had hoped. I've been busy with quite a lot of other things business-wise and everything that's not just crocheting. So I haven't been able to prep as much as I would have wanted to, but that's okay. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and just show you everything now. So we're starting out with my items that I have multiple of, and I'm just going to show you one of each item, but I will tell you the number that I have in stock for that item. And just trust me that that's the number that I have because it's a little bit difficult to pick up like 10 of one item and show you each one. <laughs> And I do have various different colors for a lot of these items as well. And in my square, I have them set up to like tell me if a green one sold or a pink one sold. So towards the end of this video, when I'm giving you what sold, I will tell you the different colors of what it is that sold. So anyways, for aliens, I have four of these in stock and these are $12 each. For axolotls, I also have four of these in stock, and these are 14 each. For baby turtles, I also have four of these in stock, and they are 12 each. For bees, I have two rainbow bees and six regular bees, and all my bees are 15. Little blueberries, I have three of these in stock, and they are 10 each. For chicken nuggets, I have eight of them in stock, and they are $8 each. For chickens, I have five of them and they are 12. For the little chicks, they are also 12 each and I have four of them. For the chunky mushrooms, I have six of them in stock and these are 15 each. For the ducks, I have three of them in stock and these are 14 each. My eggs are $10 each and I only have two of them this time. For my frogs, I have 10 of them and they are $12 each. Gummy bears I have four of for $10 each. Mini bears I only have two of, but they're 12 each. Now these are mini bees, mini octos, and mini whales. These go in my $5 minis bin. So they're each $5. I have two mini whales, three mini octos, and three mini bees. Mini fish are eight, and I only have one this time. So what I'm saying, a lot of my stock, I did not get the chance to restock as much as I would have liked. For hippos, I only have two. Again, not very many. And they are for 14 each. For octopus, I only have two. And they're 10 each. 
For opossums, I have five and they are 12 each. Otters are also 12 each and I have three of them. Penguins are 14 each and I have four of them. Pickles, I have eight of and they are 12 each. Triceratops are 12 each and I have five of them. And whales are 10 each and I also have five of these. Now I do have some keychains as well. I'm just gonna show you one of each and then again tell you the number that I have for each one. So for sunflower keychains, these are $8 each and I have two of them. For frog keychains, bee keychains, and octopus keychains, they are $10 each. For bees, I have five. For octopus, I only have this one. For frogs, I have two. And I almost forgot, but I do have gummy bear keychains as well. These are also 10 and I have two of them in stock. Now I do also have a claw machine at my markets and they are the same items that are on these little keychains, just without the keychain in the claw machine. And the claw machine is $10 plain until you win, so each item is worth $10. And I have a total of 10 items currently that will be for the claw machine, so up to 10 people can play it. And now last thing for like items I have multiple of is mystery bags. I'm not gonna like bring them over because they're already packaged up. But for mystery bags, I have $25 ones and $20 ones available currently. So I have four $25 ones and four $20 ones. But that is it for the items that I have multiple of. So now I'm going to go ahead and package all this away and then we'll get into my items that have individual price tags that don't like go in a bin or have a price sign. Okay, so now for my bigger items, I am bringing my turkey since this is November. So this is $60, $17 beetle, $32 snake, $38 hamburger turtle, $30 teddy bear, $35 cookies and cream cow, $20 coffee mug, $20 pizza slice, $15 snail, $53 butterfly, $35 giraffe, $10 chili pepper, $15 peach, $20 s'mores, $30 turtle, $20 heart friend, $32 sunflower turtle, $20 ice cream, $38 wolf, $25 clownfish, $30 corn, two alligators for 20 each, $62 lobster, $12 mini pig, $20 Hershey's Kiss, two $15 mini dogs, $43 cow with a purse. Here's another mini dog, so that's three total. $25 flounder, $65 Bob the Minion, $50 Triceratops, and $30 classic cow. That is all for my plushies, which seems like not enough at all like but anyways um <laughs> i do have bags that i'm going to show you and then that is actually everything just kidding one more plushie that was hidden under the bags 32 dollar hamster three kid purses for 20 each two bitty boho bags also for 20 each 40 dollar watermelon purse and then 32 dollar mushroom bag and that is everything that I have that is going to this market, which like I said, does not feel like very much, but that's okay. Um, we'll just see how it goes and I'll be back in a few days to let you know how it goes. All right, you guys, so I definitely had my hopes quite high for this market and I was a little bit disappointed to say the least. As fun as the event was, I don't think it is an event that I will do in the future just because my sales were not that good. Now I did make a profit, it's not like I lost money or anything, but it's just not as much of a profit as I'm typically used to that you guys are used to hearing about in my videos and stuff. So when that's the case, of course, I need to prioritize prepping for other events where I do better at those than spending my time on events where I don't make as much of a profit. Anyways though, with that we are going to get into what sold. I'm going to tell you guys the transactions. 
in order of what sold like I always do so that you can get an idea of what was selling first and what people were wanting and then we will talk about bestsellers and all of that. So this event was 10 to 4 30 which is even longer than my typical events and I still made less so again another reason for me to prioritize other types of events but anyways first to sale was 9 55 before even actual customers got in I was selling to a few different vendors so the first sale was two items one possum for $12 and then one baby turtle in purple also for $12 Next was another baby turtle, also for $12 in light green. Next was a $12 opossum. Next was $2 worth of stickers, which I do have my stickers as three for $1. Next I sold two axolotls, axolotls being $14 each, one in dark blue and one in light purple. Next I had one $5 mini octopus cell. Next, somebody bought another dollar worth of stickers. Next was a chicken nugget, and that was an angry one for $8. Next order was two items, one $12 green leggy frog and one $8 happy chicken nugget. Next was another $1 worth of stickers order. Next was a chicken in the black speckled color for $12 and a regular B for 15. Next was $2 worth of stickers and a peach colored leggy frog for 12. Next was another dollar worth of stickers. Next was a $12 opossum, then a $14 light blue axolotl, then one mini B for five and one penguin for 14. And that was a regular penguin, so the gray body. Next was a chicken that sold a white one for $12. Next I had another axolotl sell and that was the light pink one for $14. Next another chicken sold for $12 and that was a white speckled one. Then another chicken in white sold with a mini bee. So that is five for the mini bee and 12 for the chicken. Next another penguin sold for $14 and that was my speckled penguin. Next order was a few items. We have $1 worth of stickers, a $12 light purple triceratops, and a $12 mint leggy frog. Next order was a green leggy frog for $12. Then after that, we have a dark green triceratops for $12. A rainbow bee for $15 was next. The next order was from my sister, and this was actually the only big item I sold. And since it was to my sister, it doesn't feel like it really counts, even though she did pay me the correct amount and everything. It still feels like it doesn't count as much. But anyways, she did buy my Triceratops inspired by the Squishmallow for $50. I've had that one for a long time and I know she's been eyeing it. And I told her if it didn't sell at my next few markets, I'd give it to her for Christmas. And she said, I want it now. And she handed me the 50 bucks. So I was like, okay. <laughs> so anyways that did sell and then final item actually as we were packing up was a ten dollar angry blueberry that sold so that is all my transactions like i said not including the triceratops that sold to my sister i only sold small items i did not even sell a single big item which i don't think has ever happened to me at a market before at least my typical markets, not including like the ones I did over the summer that was just like a one table setup. If we're talking about like my big markets where I have a 10 by 10 tent and everything, I don't think I've ever had an event where I've only sold small items. So while I did have like quite a few transactions and stuff, it didn't add up to be near as much as normal because again, I didn't sell any big items. Anyways, with that though, we are going to get into bestsellers still and then how much I made. So my one item that actually sold out was the axolotls. I had four of them and I did sell all four for $14 each. So that ended up being $56 total. 
and that ended up being the most I made on any item and that was the dark blue light blue light purple and light pink colors is what I had of those I did also sell four chickens as well two white one white speckled and one black speckled and that ended up being $48 since they were 12 each I did also sell four frogs which again is 48 because they were each 12 so two green one mint and one peach one is what sold for those and then final item that I sold kind of a decent amount of is the opossums and I did sell three of those all the other items I only sold two of or of course didn't even sell any so that is kind of the recap for best sellers and the axolotls were the only item that actually did sell out and again I had four of those so as far as how much I made at this market it was $393 now I did pay $75 to be a vendor there so if you subtract that that means I made $318 which is that the worst I've ever done no but is that as good as I'm typically used to definitely not I did have fun at this market but like I said I think I will just focus in the future on prepping for markets that I will more than likely do better at since of course this market was not as good for me but I still hope you guys enjoyed seeing this breakdown and I apologize that there wasn't a vlog for this market. Like I said, I was really not feeling good and really did not realize how sick I was until after the market, but I was pretty sick. I ended up having strep and the flu. So yeah, hopefully I didn't spread it to too many people because I was just like pushing through like I'm not sick, it's fine, and I was very sick. I should have known when I didn't feel like filming the event that I was really bad off, but my brain was just like not letting me realize how bad it was. <laughs> but anyways, I still hope you enjoyed the breakdown and I still hope you enjoyed, of course, hearing about all of it. Now, if you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure you do give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to make sure you don't miss out on videos like this one in the future, as well as all my other videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and turn on the post notification bell that we know every single time I upload a brand new video. And if you guys do want to see more from me, of course, you can check out more videos of mine, my blog, my Etsy shop, my Roblox shop, all my social medias, my second channel. All of that is always included in the description box of every single video for you guys. As well as for today, of course, you can check out that Google Doc with all of the crochet patterns linked on it below for you guys. So with all of that, thank you all so much for watching today's video, and I will see you guys here in the next one. Goodbye.